the last few videos i posted on my channel about the rest application and one of them was university of applied science lapland and uh, this school have actually sent out you know you know invitation for their entrance exam today and guess what guys they say that they received massive application like the competition was massive and again i want you to know about lapland this is the coldest region in finland so i hope you are really prepared at least you use it as a stepping point when you come to finland you can actually try to make a transfer you know or you may, maybe you make a transfer to maybe capital region or that city that is less colder than lapland and again i want you to also know that this is not admission letter this is just an invitation for the entrance exam so it's your performance that's going to guarantee whether they will give you admission or not and again i want you to know also that the exam is divided into four parts the first one is going to be calculations which of course this is nursing program guys if you get nursing abroad it's hot cake do you know what i'm talking about you're going to make a lot of money because there's so much job opportunity in this field and the pay is massive so uh, this is a very good career path that you choose for yourself so please try your your best to get admission try your best to succeed in this in this uh, opportunity that just came out for you so of course as a nursing student you should know how to calculate draw calculations how to convert from milligram to gram and all those things and i will try my best to support you guys any material i will see i'll come out here and share the video so that you prepare for the exam to succeed i'm not saying that this is exact exactly what's going to come up but at least this, this those material will help you to succeed to have an idea to prepare your mind for what is coming for you and again um, a lot of people have been asking me our ah, roots i uh, can you help us prepare for this exam and i've created an online service so i'll be holding a class online class to help people to prepare for this exam and i'll sell that day and we are also going to be on a private whatsapp group so anybody that is interested you can pay for the service from the link on the description of this video below or comment section from my seller side so that you can join this class i'll be helping you guys i think i'll have a class with you guys online so that i'll be able to prepare for this exam together and on that day i'm very sure it's not going to be like joint application we are going to you know help each other as much as we can you know so and also the video presentation there's a part that has video presentation we don't know what the video presentation content is going to be all, all about so we have to wait until they release the instruction later and again we have the interview section we have the multiple choice section which it will not you know exceed maybe they'll bring a, a random information out bring out multiple choice questions then you read and comprehend and you know choose the right answer from the option so guys i think i have actually done justice on the introduction so if you also want to speak with me one-on-one -on -one session you can also follow the link to my seller site to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me and i have so many other massive services also there so there is this material that i've been circulating in our WhatsApp group and you know past questions in lapland university which include a lot of drug calculation i'm going to go to my computer screen to help you actually to know how to solve this thing you know show you the answers you know that i was able to draft you know and if you have any other material or if i see another material that will help you because i've been actually in so many exams in finland i've, I've had so many experiences in all this and i'm also studying nursing so i know those calculation draw calculations so i think i'm in the best place to help you guys to you know, support you to prepare for this exam as soon as possible so without wasting much time let's proceed to solve this question and Welcome back to this amazing video. As you can see, this is the file, the PDF file that I've been circulating around. And they say that this is a past question to Lapland University. And it's about 20 questions. And all of them is nursing calculation, you know, draw calculation and so many other calculations that will help you to prepare you. So I have actually, you know, solved a lot of them. I've solved a lot of these questions so i think this will help you actually if you really understand how this thing works so it's going to help you a lot to 
you know, to get yourself started, to know where to, you know, if you see this kind of question that day, you'll be able to at least solve a question. So let's actually go to the solution that I made. So let's see how I solve this question. question was asking, enter the time of 195 minutes to full hours and minutes. So select the correct answer. So if you see this kind of question, this is the answer that I, I drafted. So, the, so convert 195 minutes into hours and minutes. You can divide this 195 by 60, you know, to get the hours and the, remember, 60, 60 minutes make one hour, 60 seconds make one minute. So we divide it by 60 and the reminder is going to be in minutes. So when you divide this 95 by, uh, by 60, it's going to give you three hours. The remember will be 15, which is three hour, 15 minutes. So the correct answer is going to be C. Do you understand? So let's move to the, the second page. So the second page is saying convert to grams 3020 milligram. So to convert 3020 milligram, remember 1000 kilogram make one gram, 1000 gram make one milligram, 1000 milligram make one microgram. So, and if you want to convert back, you divide by 1000. If you want to uh, convert to the smaller, you times by 1000. So if you want to convert this gram, this milligram now to gram, so it's now going backwards, you have to divide it. So when you divide it, look at to convert 3020 milligram to gram, you divide by 1000 since there are 1000 milligram in one gram, just like what I said. So 3020 milligram divided by 1000 is going to give you 3.02 grams. So the first answer is d so that is the correct answer so let's move on so mira the weight uh the weight is 25 kg that is the name of the patient mira okay has rheumatoid arthritis and she ordered this one tablet 25 milligram per tablet medicine dosing instruction are not more than three milligram per kg per day divided in three doses how many tablets is given as a dose at the maximum okay so this is the option so maximum dose is equal to weight in kg times maximum days in milligram per gram per day so this is 25 kg of the weight you know, times three milligram per gram per day which is going to give us the 75 milligram per day that is going to be our maximum dose so since each diclomex tablet is 25 milligram the maximum number of the tablet per dose is maximum tablet per dose is equal to maximum dose divided by tablet strength so which is going to be 75 divided by 25 will give you three tablets so therefore the correct answer is a the A is the correct answer. So if you see this kind of, this is just simple drug calculation that every nurse should know. The strength of cortisone drug, Medro is four milligram per tablet. How many tablets do you administer to a patient whose daily dose is 18 milligram? So to determine, to, to determine the number of tablets needed, you divide the total dosage by strength of each tablet. So the number of tablets is total dosage divided by strength. For this case, the number of tablets is equal to 18, 18 milligram divided by 4, 4 milligram per tablet, which is going to give you 4.5 tablet. Therefore, the correct answer is 4.5. The answer is B. I hope you got the same answer. So this is just the answer that I rushed, you know, to solve this problem to help people out there. So you can also do your own research. So the doctor has prescribed prescribed a patient uh, Rami Prail Hexa 1.5 1.25 milligram tablet. How many tablets do you give to a patient per day? Patient needs to get active ingredient 5 milligram per day. So to determine the number of tablets needed to, you know, to achieve the desired daily dose, you divide the total dosage by the strength of each tablet. Number of the tablet is total dosage divided by strength. So for this case, the number of tablets 5 milligram per day divided by uh, 1.25 milligram per tablet which is going to give you four tablets per day so the answer is going to be a which is four tablets so i know if you're not 
If you are new to this, it will be serving, sounding like Greek to you. So the next one is convert milliliters to deciliters. You know, so convert to milliliter, which is 0 0.8 deciliter to milliliter. So to convert deciliter to milliliter, you multiply by 100 because is it liter is equal to deciliter times 100. So for this 0 0.8 deciliter is going to be 0 0.8 times 100 is going to give you 80 mil. So the answer is C. I hope you got it right. So a doctor has ordered amoxicillin, 40 mg per kg per day, 40 mg per kg per day divided into three doses. How many of the medication do you give to a child by one dose when she weighs 21 kg? So to calculate the dosage for one dose, you can use the formula. Dosage per dose is weight of the child times prescribed dosage per kg divided by number of doses per day. So weight of the child is 21 times 40, which is prescribed dosage, divided by three doses in a day, which will give you 280 milligram. I hope you got it right. <laughs> I don't want this video to be so long and I have about you know 20 questions here. The ratio of the boys to guess in a class is one is to three. If the number of boys is nine, find the number of girls. So the given the ratio of boys to girls is one is to three. Since the number of boys is nine, you can find the number of girls by multiplying the number of boys by the ratio factor, uh, which is three in this case. So number of girls is minus is equal to number of boys times the ratio factor, which is Nine times three is give you twenty-seven. Therefore, the correct answer is twenty-seven, which is A. A is the right answer. So, what did you get in your own? So, how many days does the arm ampoule of five mil last? If the patient get drug, the liquid zero point two mil two times a day. To calculate how many days the five mil ampoule will last, divide the total volume by the daily doses, which is total volume divided by daily dose, which is. 5 mil divided by 0 0.2 times 2, which will give you 12.5 days. So, therefore, the correct answer is 12 full days. 12 full days, that is the correct answer. So, the, the, the right answer is B for this one. So, the next question says, in a class of 60 students, 45% are boys. Calculate the number of girls in the class. This one is coming from percentage, and the other one is coming from draw calculation, which is conversion, unit conversion. So, you should focus on learning this thing so that you'll be able to perform well in the calculation part. So, to find the number of girls in the class, you can calculate the percentage of girls and subtract it from the total number of students, which is 100% minus percentage of boys, which is giving 50 55. Then, number of girls, percentage of girls over 100 times total number of students, which is 55 all over 100 times 60, will give you 33. So the right answer is B. So the, the next question say a doctor has ordered the patient to take nitrocyte 10 milligram and then one tablet three times a day. The nitrocyte package contains 100 tablets. How many days will the, this package last for? So find how many days the nitrocyte package will last. Divide the total number of packages in the, in the package by the number of tablets taken per day. So number of days, total tablet divided by tablets per day, which is 100 divided by 3. So dividing 100 by 3 gives approximately 33.33. .33. So, the, the, so the package will last for 33 days. Therefore, the current answer is B, 33 days. So the next question is number 12. A doctor have ordered this one for a patient. The medication dose is started with 10 mg per day for the 5 days. After the dose is increased by 20 mg per day for 5 days. After that, the dose is still increased by 30 mg per day. How much of an active ingredient does a patient receive during 21 days? So let's calculate total now amounts of the active ingredient for the given dosage shadow if you want to solve this. First, 5 days is going to 10 mg per day times 5 days will give you 50 mg. The next is 5 days, 20 mg per day times 5 days will give you 100 mg. Remaining 11 days is 30 mg you know, per day 
times 11 days will give you 330 milligrams. Now, summing this amount is 50 plus 100 plus 300 will give you 480 milligrams. Therefore, the correct answer is 480 milligrams, which is D. And so, this is the next, you know, answer to this one 67 of these of 648 students are passing the exam how many students are successful so i think you should follow all this answer so that i don't want this video to be so long so this is the next one this is the next one i didn't solve this one this is the next one this is the final one convert to microgram which is this one 0 0.006 gram which you times it by 1000 and you get it so thank you for watching this video i hope you find some value so for the multiple choice question and the interview section and the you know the video presentation the instruction will come later and i think for the interview you just have to be confident by yourself and answer all the given question they give you and again for the multiple choice you just have to be ready anyone that they give to you we are going to solve it you know on that day with confidence so i really wish you all the best and i hope you find some value in this video thank you so much for watching and um, please subscribe and like this video share it to anybody that will benefit from this video and for those preparing for the joint entrance exam your own sample question is coming in the next video thank you and see you next time bye